Welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and in this video I'm going to talk about something that happened probably a long time before many of you were born especially if you're between the ages of let's say 14 and 28. So let's see what I'm going to be discussing in this topic with you. Uh, it's an article that came out uh, let's see, it came out in uh, 1983 and was published <clears throat> in the Washington Post. Uh, it's written by uh, John Saxon, who was a U.S. Air Force test pilot and also a combat veteran of the Korean War. And what he has to say is pretty interesting because uh, if we look at one of the paragraphs, where he <clears throat> begins to discuss the problems that arose with teaching of mathematics, you'll see that it has a lot to do with uh, the nonsense that began to be introduced into textbooks by uh, mathematics educators who really knew nothing about uh, numbers, never mind mathematics. And this is the paragraph. I want to read it to you very quickly, just that paragraph. In addition, the textbooks introduced the vocabulary of college mathematics into high school. Concepts such as integers, number sets, and rational and irrational numbers were explained. That was all to the good. The trouble was that topics were presented in an unintelligible form to impress adults who were demanding radical changes that would help us catch up with the Russians. So it seems that uh, whoever was writing those manuals thought that <laughs> the USA was behind Russia in the space race simply because the math wasn't good enough. Uh, that was absolute rubbish. In fact, the tragedy that followed by their actions and what they did uh, is proof that their approach uh, and their idea about the math being the cause uh, was completely wrong. So what I'd like to do <clears throat> is show you very quickly how the wrong, uh, this, this diagram here on the left is the wrong idea, the completely wrong idea. Well, first of all, uh, this section here, beginning with the natural num numbers, is the wrong order. Uh, uh, the idea of ratio <clears throat> and rational came long before natural numbers. And in fact, we don't start a perfect derivation with natural numbers at all. So it doesn't really work this way at all. And then, of course, uh, there is no such thing as an irrational number. And that, of course, I have proved in my uh, video called uh, There Are No Irrational Numbers and the video <clears throat> and data can cuts are not valid constructions of the real numbers and that video can be found here i will show you where the video is very quickly it's data can cuts this video here data can cuts are not a valid construction of real numbers okay so now uh, if we <clears throat> go back to this diagram we'll see that the orangutans of mainstream mathematics really don't understand number. They have no clue what is number. This diagram here on the left is all wrong, okay? And the right diagram, which is the perfect derivation that you see on this side here where I'm pointing now to the right side, is how number is derived, and it is the Euclidean derivation. This here is 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 using the right definition, which is the the measure of a magnitude is a number, or rather, a number is the measure of a magnitude. So you begin with the idea of a magnitude, okay? Uh, it's just basically a size or an extent or a dimension. It's not a number. A magnitude is not a number. So at this point here, right on over here, we don't have numbers. In fact, we don't even have numbers when we talk about ratios of magnitude yet because we'd be, we could be comparing two lines, which are magnitudes, or two 
volumes or two areas or two masses or weights but they needed be, they needn't be numbers okay they haven't been measured yet so how could they be numbers a number is the measure of a magnitude the next quantum leap comes when we realize the unit that means we choose a standard magnitude for measure that means the ratio of that standard magnitude to itself forms the unit so a unit itself is a ratio it's the ratio of equal magnitudes the which we have chosen to be the standard of measurement so the unit <clears throat> is an abstraction then from the unit we are able to form another ratio again a ratio of a magnitude to the unit where the magnitude is a multiple of the unit and that gives us the natural numbers the natural numbers are ratios how could they come before ratios as you see on in this diagram here that's just total nonsense okay the idea of ratio came long before the unit or number and then finally we come to the rational numbers which are ratios of natural numbers right now those are the only numbers that exist there are no other numbers there is no such thing as an irrational number you morons if you cannot measure a magnitude which you see over here then it is an incommensurable magnitude that is a magnitude that has no measure with any other including the unit that you choose now you may say well mr gabriel it measures itself <laughs> well you idiot so does pi but pi is not a number anything compared with itself measures itself that's not what we mean by measure measure means to be able to compare it to something else and not to measure it approximately like 0 0.333 or 3.14159 or any of that sort of rubbish those are not numbers those are approximations the rational numbers are the only numbers we have ever used okay square root of 2 is a symbol for a magnitude pi and e are symbols for magnitude they are not numbers you morons okay they are not numbers they are magnitudes that are not commensurate with any other magnitude now <clears throat> <clears throat> you may say, well, do data con constructions or Cauchy sequences provide valid uh, construction of real numbers or irrational numbers? No, they don't. Okay, there is no valid construction of real number. The rational numbers <clears throat> are the only numbers that we know and the only numbers we have ever used. So, I hope this video clears up the idea between this damaging uh, set of ideas here on the left hand side which threw students off and made them perform much worse in mathematics because they did not understand it how could they this is incomprehensible crap on the left hand side it means absolutely nothing a natural number is n no you don't just begin to count you monkey you have to derive the concept of number as my brilliant ancestors the ancient Greeks did from nothing as I showed you on the right hand side here you begin with an idea megathos in Greek means magnitude okay then we get to the logos or the rito which is the ratio okay ritos means ratio in Greek um, so these are ratios of magnitudes which are the next step a ratio is just simply a comparison if you write a colon b what it means is a compared to b if you write one colon two it means one compared to two did you get that moron did you really did you get it right and the unit is simply you choosing any magnitude and comparing it to itself that's right and once you've done that if any magnitude is a multiple of that unit then you can actually find the difference between two natural numbers because now you know what is the unit 
And then finally, you say, well, what if it's part of a unit? Well, then that's when you form a ratio of natural numbers. So when we write 1 colon 2 or 2 colon 1, uh, those are actually numbers. They're completed numbers. When we write 1 vinculum 2 or 1 slash 2 or 2 slash 1, no division is being done, you morons. Those are numbers. Those tell us what we are thinking of in terms of a measured magnitude. Did you get that, you monkeys? Well, professors of mathematics, you need to be paying attention because a lot of you are fucking morons, okay? And I am teaching you here so that you get an idea of what exactly is a number because none of you understand what is a number, but you can explain how to use Green's theorem, but you don't have a fucking clue what it means, do you, morons? Okay, you have never understood calculus. You don't even know what the mean value theorem means, you idiots. I was the first to prove it constructively. I deserve 10 Abel Prizes, not you morons. Oh, unbelievable. Um, I have to deal... At modern academics are the bane of my existence. You're all incorrigibly stupid and ignorant and unbearable. Well, I hope that students listen to this video and take you bastards to task. I hope they give you such a hard time that you stop teaching your crap on the left-hand side and all the other crap that you teach in real analysis and all the other crap that you teach in the form of theorems in mathematics. It's not mathematics. Your ideas are mathematics. I am a real mathematician. You are mathematicians, not mathematicians. Well, learn, you morons. Learn. Uh, to those who are not guilty of spreading false knowledge and lies, I hope you've enjoyed this video and had a few, had a few laughs, <clears throat> because certainly um, the state of education and mainstream mathematics is in a mess. It has been the last 200 years or so. Uh, what with the idiots such as Zermelo and Frankel and all the other morons, David Hilbert, uh, Russell Bertrand, or Bertrand Russell. Um, anyway, so that's it for this video. I'll chat to you again at some future time. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you again in another video. Goodbye.